picture really is worth a thousand words, especially in the world of business analysis for IT projects. Try to describe workflows or business processes in natural language, and the chances that IT will deliver the solution you want are very small indeed. The challenge is what picture do you need to draw? There are several techniques for drawing business process models or diagrams, and each has a specific focus. Data flow diagrams, DFDs, represent the workflow or steps within a business process with a focus on the flow and transformation of business data. A DFD is the right choice for business process modeling if you need to understand the creation and consumption of data in the individual business processes. The depicted process can be manual or automated. It does not matter as far as the diagram is concerned. Every business process is a more or less complex sequence of steps that changes something coming in to create something new. As such, it needs input, which could be information or any other resource. It uses the input to create output, whether the output is something altogether new or simply an altered version of the original input. Using the input to create the output adds some measurable value to the process. Thus, we often refer to the value chain of the organization. Fundamentally, any diagram is simply a picture with constraints. In the case of the DFD, the constraints are which symbols you can use and what each symbol means. There are really only two widely used conventions, and the differences are minimal. Both allow only four basic symbols. A rounded rectangle represents a process at some level of detail that has to have a name. The name consists of an active verb, what is done, and a direct object, what it is done to, i.e., process credit card, sell product, check item price. As you can see from the examples, the named process can be at any level of detail, from the very large, sell product, to the minute, check item price. An arrow represents a data flow, meaning information in motion. Because the data is going from somewhere to somewhere, the arrow points in the direction of movement. Every data flow has to have a name. Because it is data and data is a thing, the name is a noun with appropriate modifiers, i.e., credit card authorization, invoice, item number. As with the process, the name data flow can be at any level of detail. A special symbol consisting of a small square with the top and bottom lines extending outward to the right represents a data store. A data store is simply data at rest. It is not going anywhere. It is simply waiting to be consumed by some process. A data store is not necessarily a file, although a file is a data store. Like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not necessarily a square. A simple square, with or without an optional shadow, represents an external entity. In the world of data flow diagramming, an external entity represents a person organization or application that is out of scope from the perspective of the DFD or the project. Specifically, it implies that the represented object is not going to be analyzed or impacted by any project using this diagram, but the interface to the object has to be analyzed. 